Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Mr. Ian Teaches English for another lesson in class. We have some students with us, and we are going to talk about how to sound more polite when you're speaking to Americans. So, let's put up the word here, polite. Now, is it necessary to be polite in English? Yes, but English is not as formal as many other languages. Many other languages have a lot more rules to follow. Maybe if somebody's older than you or more educated than you or more important than you, you have to choose your language differently. But in English, we are the most popular to people we don't know. And what do we call those people in English? Somebody you don't know is a stranger. stranger. Yeah. So in English, we are most polite when we are talking to a stranger. Somebody in the coffee shop, somebody on the street, somebody at a restaurant, we are the most polite to them. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is getting someone's attention. How would we get somebody's attention? If we want to talk to them, but we don't know who they are, we're going to be polite. We're going to say, anybody? If you want someone's attention, if you're in a restaurant or on the street, you want to talk to them, but you don't know who they are, what do you say? Excuse me. Yeah. So the best way to get somebody's attention is simply just to say, excuse me. Now, we also use this when we're trying to move past someone. We say, oh, excuse me. And move. Um, but this is a great way to get somebody's attention. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, All right? And we can make it even more polite by following it with a general title, with the title of sir or the title of ma'am. Now, both of these words, sir and ma'am, are great. They're incredibly polite, and they're used when you don't know somebody's name. So. You've probably heard of Mr. and Mrs. and Miss and Ms., right? But we use these in front of names. So I am Mr. Ian. But if you don't know me, I'm at the store, you say, excuse me, sir. sir. All right, because you're recognizing that they are a man or they are a woman, but you don't know their name. And I use this in class. When you ask a question, I'll say, yes, ma'am, you know, excuse me, sir. I'll say that to be polite to you guys without using your names, all right? Now, quickly, let's go over the difference between these, because you can say this as well. Excuse me, Mr. Ian. Excuse me, like your kid's teacher, right? Excuse me, Miss Johnson, right? to be polite, to get their attention. Mr. is used for man, man and it never changes, all right? Men never changes. Mrs. Uh, women, what kind of women? Married. Married. married women. Married women. All right. Miss. Miss. Yep. Unmarried. Um. Young women. And Ms. When you don't know. When you don't know or. Unmarried, older woman. All right, and these can change. Sometimes people like certain titles. Sometimes people don't. You'll hear people complain sometimes that they, oh, don't call me Mister. It makes me feel old. Or, don't call me Miss. It makes me feel old. Right. Um, but if you're trying to be polite, these are great ways to do it. Especially this one if you're talking to uh, women. Especially you guys have kids who are in school. You know that your kid's teacher is a woman, but you don't know if they're married or if they're not married. That's the best way to do it, yeah. Also, the pronunciation of these kind of change depending on where you live. Where we live, everything is pronounced like this. So, miss, miss, miss. Everything is pronounced like that. Um, but that's not everywhere. Some other places in the United States pronounce differently. All right, so after you get their attention, let's talk about asking questions or making requests. 
All right. If we want to ask a question or if we want to make a request, what are some words that we usually start with? Please. Say that again. Please, yeah, please is the magic word. And actually, we call that the magic word. You can use it at the beginning of a sentence or at the end of the sentence. Please, right? I teach my kids this. Dad, can I have a cookie? Dad, can I have a cookie? The magic word? Dad, can I have a cookie, please? Right, because it's important. Uh, it doesn't really mean anything in English. We can't really say that it means something. It just makes things polite. All right? Now, if we look at some other things, we, for example, let's say I want coffee. We do not want to go into a restaurant and say, hey, I want coffee. Or even, excuse me, ma'am, I want coffee. You're polite at the beginning, but very rude at the end. <laughs> so how can we do that? What do we say? Could you or can I? We make it into a question. And so if we want to be polite, we want to change our statements into questions. And this is a general rule in English. If you want something to sound more polite, ask a question. Don't make it a statement. Don't say something. Ask. Even if you are saying something, by changing it into a question, you're making it more polite. So instead of, I want coffee, we would say, can I have a coffee, a coffee, some coffee? Depends on where you're from. All right, and that is a question. Or to be more polite, could I have a coffee? Okay. And when we're talking to strangers, we really want to be as polite as possible. So we're going to choose could instead. All right. Um, we also, we talked about embedded questions in a live stream before, so check out that live stream. But when we're asking questions or making a request, we want to put them in question form, and we also want to use could when possible. Now can, again, English is very informal. When I talk to my wife, when I talk to my boss, when I talk to my boss's boss and my boss's boss's boss, I'll use this because English is very informal. But if I want to be polite, I use could. So that's it for questions and requests. Any questions about questions? No questions about questions? You okay over there? All right, so now let's talk about responses when you are responding to someone. So somebody says something to you and you are responding. Yeah, I'll leave that responding. How do you respond? If you ask for coffee and they say, sure, what do you say? Thank you, please. Thank you, yeah. yeah. It's very basic, but a lot of people don't use it. All right, we have to teach our kids to say thank you. And it's a constant reminder, say thank you, say thank you. All right? Mm -hmm. And saying thank you means a lot, especially when you're having conversations on the telephone with people. Um, like talking, the first thing I think about is calling my kids doctor like the doctor's office. I want them to like me, right? Because when I need help, I want them to want to help me. So everything they do, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Always show thankfulness when you do it. Now, if somebody asks you a question, they say, hey, can you be here early tomorrow? How do you respond to a question? Yes. yes. Or... No, we'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> yes or no, but to be polite, we're going to use these titles again. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Or yes, ma'am. And this is, this is pretty polite. This is very polite. So if you start a new job, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. As you become more familiar with them, you might just say yes. Um, I have a, my martial arts instructor. You know, I've, been, I've known him for a year, but he's my teacher. So every time he says something, yes, sir, yes, sir, because I want to show him that respect, all right? Now, you can also say, no, sir, all right? No, sir, especially to a question, all right? Are you available tomorrow? No, sir, no, sir, all right? But we don't like to say no in English. It just kind of sounds bad. So 
Instead of saying no, we might say what? I don't think so. Yeah, we'll say something a little bit softer. Uh, I don't think so. And again, I don't think so, sir. Yes, sir. Or what else could we say? Can you come late tomorrow? Or can you come early tomorrow? Uh, well, don't say maybe, because that's, that's not what you want to say. What, I think somebody over here said it. Started with an S. Well, sure is yes. Yeah. All right, but you want to say no. I'm, well, that's not true. That's not true. I'm sorry. All right, we apologize. Okay. Now, did you do anything wrong? No. But it's uh, it's okay to say you know no sir no ma'am if you're being asked a question. Uh, did the new clients come? No sir, they didn't come. Right. But if you're disappointing someone, we don't like to disappoint someone and say no. So we usually say, oh, I don't think so, or I'm sorry. We'll make a we'll make a concession. We'll uh, make sort of an apology here. I'm sorry, ma'am. All right. I can't help you. I'm sorry. Uh, this a lot with customer service a lot you say hey you know can you do this for me I'm sorry ma'am all right that's just instead of saying no which is the answer all right saying I'm sorry questions on that I got a couple more points that I want to say and then we'll um, a couple more tips actually uh, also responding this is important too if you are refusing it's also good to say no thank you if somebody offers you something oh no thank you would you like some coffee no thank you all right it's good to uh, respond that way now a couple of tips that I think are good if you just want to generally sound more polite in English the first one I think is to use names I make it a practice in my classroom to use your names, right? I don't say student or you, right? Even at the grocery store, if they have a name tag, I say, oh, uh, Elizabeth, excuse me, Elizabeth. Thank you, Elizabeth, and I, and I use the names uh, because names are important. So I think it's always a good idea to use a name. And then number two, I talked about this up here, but Use questions when you can. Be indirect when you ask for something. So don't say, I want this. Say, can I have this? Or do you mind if I do this? Uh, ways to sound more polite in English. And I think that, I think that might be it. This is a quick lesson. It's a short lesson, but hopefully helpful. Um, any questions about these or any situations or scenarios that you might have? No. All right, but the magic words, if you, if you don't do anything else, use names, use these sir, ma'am, and then please and thank you, and that changes almost everything. Because mm -hmm. right? in my, part of it is like you're, you're in a community and you're trying to build people who like you, because when you need help, Who's going to help you? The people who like you, right? <laughs> so if you're nice and friendly to people, then you'll see that come back to you. You'll see people go, oh, yeah, I remember you. You're the nice person that I talked to on the phone. So, all right. No questions? No. All right. Well, you're thank welcome. You. Well, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope this has been helpful. Put your situations and scenarios in the comments. Let me know what other questions you have. Bye.